Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Charlie Eugene back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of this Wi-Fi adapter I bought a couple days ago. Um, this is a TP-Link AX1800. The model is Archer TX20UH. It's on sale for about 40 bucks right now. Usually it's like $59.99. So I got it for uh, 40 bucks, And I want to unbox it and show you guys the before and the after as far as my internet performance. All right. So let me briefly tell you my situation. I'm uh, usually connected hardwired from my router to my desktop. But my son, he likes to pick at the wire and he trips over it and he's and it's, it looks loose. And I don't like the way it looks when he fools around the wire. So I said, let me go uh, Wi-Fi just for his safety. So when I unplugged from the hard wire from the PC to my router, it dropped, the, the speed dropped uh, very significantly. Uh, when I was plugged in, I was getting like 800 megabytes per second because we have Fios Quantos here. And it's super fast when I'm plugged into the, to the uh, hard wire. So... Once I unplugged, I'm now getting like 30 megabytes per second, and that's just unacceptable for me. So I wanna see if this will help bring my speeds back up. I did uh, figure out a, a way to get my speeds up to 200. I plugged my PC into my Wi-Fi extender, and that got me up to 200. But I wanna see if I can get this thing to get me up to 500. If I can get 500, I'll be happy, and I'll be satisfied, and I'll keep it. But if it doesn't increase that much, I'm going to take this thing back. So I'm going to unbox this thing right for you guys, right in front of you guys. So if you're interested in getting this model, you can see what it's like, how it's packaged and how it performs. Excuse me. <clears throat> so I'm going to carefully uh, open this up because I might take it back. So I highly suggest when you do decide to return stuff, be careful when you open it. Just because it just looks better and feels better when you return it then the box being all tore up. So I'm gonna be careful as I unbox this. And once again, this is a TP-Link AX1800 Wi-Fi adapter, Wi-Fi 6. It says Windows uh, capable, so we know it works with Windows. I don't see a Mac logo anywhere, but I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on this, I'm pretty sure it, will, uh, it should work on Mac, even though it doesn't say it anywhere on the box, all right? So let's, uh, let's, let's unbox this thing, and I'm gonna be talking as I unbox it. Uh, pretty pretty nice device, man. Pretty nice device. It says USB 3 speed. So I definitely recommend using the USB 3 port because that does make a difference. And let me see how I'm going to open this thing here. I'm going to start right here. Start right here. And like I said, I like to carefully open up this stuff because when you return it, it just looks better and it feels better when you present it to the customer service rep. So let's unbox this TP Link. I usually um I usually buy Netgear stuff. I love Netgear. But um TP Link has been decent so far. I'll be honest with you. I have a I have a Wi-Fi extender, which I'll show you right here, that I use and it's been really stable and I like it. So I decided to continue trying out their products. Alright, so how does this work? Let me open this, let me not tear this box up. All right, let me see here. I like to keep the box nice. All right, I think you can just, just you guys can tell I'm not good at doing these unboxings, but all right, that's good enough. Yeah, that's cool. I like to keep that box looking good because I might take this thing back. I'm telling you, if, if it doesn't, if I I, I want to say at least 400 megabytes per second. If it goes up to 400, I'm happy. But if not, I'm gonna take this bad boy back. All right, so here we go. Nice little presentation, you know, not too much going on here. You have the actual Wi-Fi adapter here. That's cool. You have your instruction manual, which I don't, I don't think I'm gonna need. All right, little instruction manual here. And then you have your actual docking station. That's the cool thing about it. You have a docking station. So if you wanna just dock it into the port here, I break it yeah, yeah that should be it all right there we go a little hard to get in there so that's cool and the reason why i say that's cool is because sometimes the usb usb ports on your pc or your laptop are too close to each other 
and this might not fit in because you have another port right next to it. So that's cool that they did that so that way you can dock it. And this thing's hard to get in, man. I feel like it's gonna break, but that's cool. That's nice and secure. So yeah, this is how it looks. And then you can just have it on your desk somewhere. And then what's also cool about this device is the fact that, let me see if I can lift this up without taking this plastic out. Oh yeah, you probably gotta take the plastic out. Okay, let me take this plastic out. I'm gonna keep this plastic as well, keep all this stuff. So when I return it, if I return it, it looks nice. So what's also cool is that you can open up this antenna part. I like that, that's dope. That's really cool, man. I like the way that looks. That, that's definitely that's definitely um, a nice little touch to it. And you can put it back in the dock and I have that like that. That looks good. So that's basically it, man. This is a, just wanted to show you what it looks like to open up this uh, TP-Link. And um, this set, like I said, it says Windows compatible. It doesn't say anything about Mac, but I'm pretty confident that it works with Mac as well. It just doesn't state that. All right, and we're gonna see how this thing performs when we uh, connect it to the PC. I'm gonna give you guys my results. I got screenshots of the before connection speeds. I'm gonna show you the after connection speeds when this is connected to my PC, all right? Pretty cool, has a little blue um, indicator LED here to let you know that it's on. This is nice, man. It's nice, it feels really light. So I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Feels really light, but it feels like it's uh it should uh last a while. Okay, that's pretty much it. And like I said, you see the blue in the blue inside of the port, that means it's USB three. I highly recommend connecting it to that port to make sure you're getting uh, a, a good fast connection. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I like this, man. I really like this little docking station. That was a nice little touch. That's why I bought it, honestly, because sometimes, like I said, when you plug it into the side ports, it's not enough space because of how big the actual device is. So I like that they did it. That was very thoughtful of them to do. And this is Wi-Fi 6. I have Wi-Fi 6 at home, so I want to match it up. And I'm, I'm, I'm praying and hoping that this thing improves my Wi-Fi signal because... I'm paying a lot of money a month for Fios Quantum, and I want those high speeds, especially over the air. It's dope when you got really fast speeds over the air. Anyway, I'm going a little, um, a little long in the video. Let me uh, give you guys the results. All right, peace. All right, so here are the results of my internet speed tests and different connections that I had to my. Uh, Wi-Fi into my files router. All right, so the first screenshot is when I was connected hardwired from my PC into my uh, files quantum router, which is on the other side of the condo. As you can see, those speeds were incredible. Almost one ter uh, one gigabyte, excuse me, down one gigabyte up. And that's when I was hardwired running a cable all the way from my PC to the files quantum router. All right. But unfortunately, I got disconnected because of my son's behavior at the moment. I'll rewire it next time. I'll figure out a better way to do it. But right now, I'm going to run my internet over the air. The second screenshot is when I disconnected the Ethernet cable and I connected Wi-Fi with this cheap Wi-Fi dongle that Micro Center gave me with this PC, which obviously wasn't Wi-Fi 6 and it didn't have the 5 gigs uh, signal. So it dropped down to 32 down, 11 up, which is, I guess, acceptable for some people. But for the um, the price that I'm paying for this uh, Internet service, I definitely got to do better than that. The third screenshot is when I was when I connected the Ethernet cable from my PC into my Wi-Fi extender. That definitely went back up to 279 down. 142 up that's i could deal with that I, i'll be honest with you but it's i know i could do a little bit better but that's that wasn't bad and last but not least this is what you guys are waiting for this is the tp link ax 1800 which i unboxed in the video this is um definitely a big jump i'm at uh 429 down 377 up so it went up 
It went up and I like it and I'm going to keep it. And just imagine if my setup was closer to the router, it would be even higher. So if you can get one, I highly recommend getting one. They're 40 bucks at the moment. Uh, definitely has been good over the last three days. Been very stable. I had no drops, no disconnections. It's been stable. It works very well. Okay. Now for the Mac users, I'm not sure if this works. It doesn't have a logo on the box, but you know, usually there's some work around to get it to work, but I'm not sure. Um, you know, usually Apple bullshit, all of their products come with a Wi-Fi adapter, but it might not be Wi-Fi six. So that might be why you want it. And also let me end this by saying, if you don't have a uh, fast internet connection, I wouldn't buy this. If you have like, you know, 30 down, 30 up, or something like that. Some some weak package from your internet provider, don't buy this. This is for people that have super fast internet uh, speeds. Definitely have to have a Wi-Fi 6 to get that benefit. So if you don't have it, don't buy it. This is for people that have Wi-Fi 6 and have a fast internet package. Anyway, this is Charlie Eugene. Please leave comments below if you have any uh, questions about this device. I'll uh, get back to you. And also... It doesn't cost you anything to hit that like button. It also doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. And for all my subscribers, thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate you guys watching my content. And last but not least, if I can do it, you can do it too. Peace.